Well, I'm delighted to be joined here this morning by WWE superstar Cesaro and obviously it's an exciting time for us in the UAE with um, it being confirmed that WWE is coming back to Dubai in April. Yeah, um, you know, we're coming back to Dubai with the uh, WWE Live Dune Bash uh, April 14th and 15th and tickets are available now at premium, uh, premiumlist.net actually, I keep saying that wrong so I need to <laughs> always think about it. Yeah, that's what I mean, I uh, keep saying it wrong so it's actually platinumlist.net and uh, <laughs> a UE exchange, uh, and I think we had some early early bird ticket special that already sold out, so tickets are going fast. Because obviously you, you guys have been here before in Abu Dhabi, but it's going to be the first time for a long time in Dubai, but for anyone who somehow hasn't been to a WWE show in the time, what can they expect? Uh, you know, if they like WWE on TV, which I know a lot of people are really enthusiastic about over here, uh, and you know, in the Middle East, and there's nothing like WWE Live. So if you like it on TV, you should definitely come to a live event. It's just like nothing else. It's so much fun. Uh, it's great energy. And, uh, you know, we're really looking forward to 14th and 15th. Excellent, excellent. Um, and sort of, I've, I've been speaking to some of your fellow colleagues in the past and sort of and traveling overseas. And because obviously a lot of the wrestling goes on in, in America. But so sort of, do you guys ever still, does it still surprise you when you go abroad to places like the UAE in here and see how popular you are and what a huge interest there is? Yeah, you know, I'm always kind of surprised by it in, 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 in a positive way, you know. Uh, I mean, I know that WWE is popular, but it's extremely popular here. And it's extremely popular in, you know, UAE. And that's why we're coming here and bringing shows here, because it's just the demand is so high. And I guess the supply hasn't been as good lately. So we're trying to, you know, make up for that and uh, come back on a more regular basis. So um, it's always surprising and it's always very, very, uh, very positive and surprising though. Excellent, because we're going through sort of, this is obviously the most exciting time of the year in the WWE universe as we're building up to WrestleMania. But obviously this is quite a difficult time for yourself because you're laid up. So first of all, can you tell us how your rehab's going at the moment? Uh, rehab is going really well. Um, just, I don't, you know, it's kind of up in the doctor's opinion. So uh, it's a very bad time to be hurt, let's put it that way. Because um, was what, what what was the problem if you don't mind? Uh, I had a torn rotator cuff that I you know try to work through because I didn't really realize how bad it was, and then I, it was just I had to get it fixed. And uh, you know they said you know four to six months, with six months being the more likely uh, prognosis. So that will put me out for quite a bit. Because it's a real shame because you had, you were building up tremendous momentum at the time of the injury, right? and you just had a great program of John Cena. And so, so how were you enjoying that period right up to the injury? Well, quite a bit, you know, and the injuries never happened at a good time, I guess. So, um, you know, it was quite a good run, but I'm hoping I can pick up right where I left off and I come back. Um, when do you hope to be back in the ring? What's a realistic target? Uh, I would say two to three months, something like that would be a good target, you know, hopefully sooner. But like I said, it's up to uh, how good I heal. Yeah. Because so sadly, that means that WrestleMania 32 is looking very unlikely, I guess. Most, most likely. Um, um, it's kind of hard to uh, come to terms with it, yeah. but it's... Because uh, how, how good an observer, like you talk, when I speak to other sports athletes and such, they say sometimes they ever find it really hard sitting on the sideline. Probably. How do you find what watching on sort of at the moment? Because like, they obviously had the Rumble last month and stuff. Are you able to watch that stuff? Yeah, it's, uh, it is very hard, but I'm just trying to stay positive and uh, you know, get through rehab and you know, coming, coming here and seeing how enthusiastic the fans are. And I was just in Germany and seeing how supportive they are, that just helps you know, keep a positive mindset. Yeah. Because obviously, so you, it's not looking sounding this great for this WrestleMania, but you've had some great WrestleMania moments already because you and Tyson Kidd successfully defended the tag team titles um, last year and you won the, memor the inaugural Memorial Andre, Andre the Giant Battle Royal. Mm -hmm. um, was, is that, was that probably your, your high, highest moment in the WWE so far? Yeah, I would definitely say so, yeah. Excellent, excellent. Um, so on, on a little bit of a sad note, obviously, I'm sure you saw last week um, Daniel Bryan's very emotional um, farewell to WWE yeah. Universe. Um, You've obviously wrestled against him. So was it a bit of a shock when that, when that news came through? Uh, yeah, it was definitely a shock. And I was hoping it wasn't true at first. And then um, it, it makes me very sad because Brian has been a good friend of mine. And I, you know, for, I've known him for over 10 years, or for close to 10 years. And uh, you, know, you don't really want to see that happen to one of your friends. But I'm very happy that he was able to kind of ended on his terms. Because is it a bit of an eye-opener when something like that happens? Because we've had other wrestlers relatively young, like Edge retired very suddenly and such. Is it a bit more eye-opener on everyone's health to sort of think about concussions and such? Uh, yes, 
in a way, but you know, we're very cognizant of it. We always try to, you know, not get concussions. <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah. and uh, WWE is very good in you know trying to trying to um, let us cure them out, and uh, is very on the forefront of the whole concussion issue. So, um, you know, I'm, it's just very hard to see. Um, so, looking more positively, trying to get again, getting bigger up again. When, when you do get back in the ring, and I know everyone and a lot of your fans in the WWE are very excited about this prospect. Is there anyone you haven't faced yet in the WWE universe that you'd really want to get in the ring with, or sort of, or anyone you'll be targeting immediately when you get back? I think I face pretty much anybody that's that's in WWE. I guess uh, you know there's some new people. Like I think it, uh, well, AJ Styles has been new, and I think he's the only one since I got hurt that yeah. came to WWE. So that would be one person. Uh, I think that would be pretty much the only one that I haven't stood in the ring with. What, what, about, what about Brock? Have you been? Have you have you done anything with Brock? I yet? have not done anything with Brock. No. Yeah, because that that's, that seems to be everyone's default answer. And then like I remember speaking. I remember speaking Definitely with, not mine. Yeah. I would rather stand in the ring against somebody who's with WWE the whole time. You know? Yeah. Because I remember speaking to Seth Rollins twice beforehand, and he yeah. was like, "Yeah, I can't wait." Afterwards, yeah, Suplex City, not so fun to go to. <laughs> um, but so, um, looking looking forward on, and sort of like when you when 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 you get back, sort of like I think what people aren't aware about is that it's not just the fact that you wrestle once a week on Raw and Smack; it's like the demands on such. So, because how fit does, does a WWE athlete have to be, really? Uh, I would say extremely fit. I mean, it's like it is a you know uh, like professional sport like it is a professional sport it is you know a top athlete because we you know we have five shows a week like you said uh, 2014 I had 220 matches 2000 no to, yeah 2015 I was on the way having the same amount before I got hurt you know so uh, it is a full-time full-time lifestyle so <laughs> it's definitely a lot of very demanding excellent excellent um, and Sort of just looking ahead, sort of to your long-term future, sort of. It. And obviously, you're, you're in WWE for now, but what do you think at any point in your career, sort of, any other interest? And that's all we've seen that CM Punk has gone on to do UFC. Is that something that would interest you, or are you just thinking purely WWE? UFC, definitely not. I don't think that's that's uh, a fit for me. Um, I'm looking forward to you know CM Punk's uh, UFC debut. Uh, you know, I hope he does really well, and uh, that's. I'm looking forward to for me, and that's not something I want to do. Uh, I think the future will we'll have to wait and see. And the, sort of the one last question is sort of traditionally WWE has been seen as being mainly sort of North American athletes and such, and so you're one of sort of the breakout stars. So like, you know, you're from Switzerland, you come from Europe and such, and so obviously, as you said, it's huge here. What kind of advice would you give to people from outside America, like Emir Emiratis, who sort of watch you or want to be the next Cesaro? Yeah. What kind of advice would you give on how, and, on how they would go about trying to get into the WWE universe? One thing would just follow your dreams. You know, uh, not, I mean, you just have to work with extremely hard. I think you have to work even harder if you're from a small country. I mean, not that UAE is small, uh, uh, but just from a country that's something like that, it's not usual. I think you just have to work harder, but that doesn't stop that that didn't stop me and that that that's the, shouldn't stop anybody else either excellent well thank you very much for your time Cesar and hopefully see you back in the ring very soon if I not at so WWE June in the beach yes thank you very much thank you thank you very much thank you cheers